Hey, good morning, everybody. So I'm back out here at the farm today. Um, I'd come back out here and give another shot, see what else I could find. Um, last week, when Dean and I were out here, we were at the back side of the property, down there by the slough. Today, I'm up towards the front of the property. Um, it's more of a, a wooded area. Um, grass is kind of kind of high, as you can see. So I don't know how well I'm going to be able to get in there and swing my coil. I did bring the the Equinox today, and if you notice, with that new um, carbon fiber shaft that breaks down to collapses down to like 18 inches, that dude fits right inside my backpack. So that's pretty nice. So yeah, I just biked in. I'm only about a 12 minute ride from my house to the farm. So yeah, just strap my shovel on, throw my finds pouch on the, the rack on the back, detector in the backpack, and I'm good to go. Anyways, what I think I might do today, if I can't get out there in that grass and out in the field and stuff to, to swing in that tall grass, I might just stay right here on this road and see what I can find on this road right here. But anyways, yeah, if I get a, my first good signal, I'll get back to you. Okay guys, I got a really nice sounding 23, 24, nice clean high tone. Might just be a piece of can slaw, but maybe not. That's sounding pretty darn good, guys. Let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, that's why they call me Bottle Cap Bob. Right there, guys. Even out here in the middle of a country farm road, I can still find them. All right, guys. On to the next one. Okay guys, I just popped out the second coin of the day. This one's just a shield penny. Hadn't been there that long. All right guys. I'm not sure if that first one, if I had the camera recording or not, but that's the second penny I got today. All right, keep moving on. All right guys, I just got my third coin for the day. Popped it out of the hole here. Another stinking Lincoln. All right, guys. On to the next one. All right, guys. I got my first dime. That's better than a penny. Ten times better than a penny. It's a 1998 clad. Let's keep moving on. On to the next one. Okay, guys. I kind of switched locations up on you. Uh, I'm on the other side of the, the driveway coming in now. Uh, wasn't having too much luck over there on that old road. I think I got a total of 13 cents, one dime and three pennies, a bunch of other junk. Came over here to this other side, and I got me a sweet horseshoe. I like those. That's cool. That's an old one. I'll take that. I like it. All right, guys, on to the next one. Okay, guys, I just popped this one here out. And what it looks like to me, it looks like a metal boot, like a little boot of some sort. What the heck is that? Huh. I'm gonna get this cleaned up later, take a look at it at the roundup with you guys. Might have something cool right here. See if it has any markings or anything on it. It almost looks like it's been burnt right here. The heck is that? It was coming up like a like a quarter signal on the Equinox. It was like a 2930. Huh. Yeah, we'll get it cleaned up later. Alright guys. On to the next one. Alright guys, right there where I just dug that last piece. It's got another one. Looks identical to it. I have no clue what this is. But again, it rang up just like a quarter. Huh. Weird. If anybody out there has a clue what this could be, 
leave a comment down below. I'm not sure what it is, but I have a feeling it's going to be something pretty cool. We'll find out at the roundup, guys. See if we can't get these cleaned up enough to where I might be able to get a marking or something off of them. All right, guys. Let's keep moving on. All right, guys. Out in the one part of this field here, and I just came across these two concrete slabs. Almost like, a, like there was a sidewalk here or something at one time. Weird. And right beside it, we've got a nice sounding 23. Let's do a live dig and see what we got here. Just another uh, crusty old bottle cap attached to a piece of glass. Huh, okay. Moving on. Another piece of glass there. We'll get that out of here. Yeah, if I don't find anything else good between now and the time I make it over to my bike, which is just over that hill right over there, right over there, um, I think I'm going to call it a day. All right, guys. If I get another good signal, though, we'll dig it up. All right, guys. I'm back here at the house. Going to do a roundup. Uh, this is my small haul for the day. Uh, minus some of the trash that I already threw away. Um, and then some of this as well will go in the garbage. Like, uh, well, this will go in my copper bucket. It's a piece of copper tube in the phone. And this will go in the trash, but I thought it was kind of cool. Look how old that beer top is or soda can top is. That's one of the old ring pole styles. Thought that was kind of cool. Um, got a railroad spike. Didn't dig this on. I didn't put this on camera. It was pretty much a surface find. I saw it sticking up. So I was walking through the field there. There is a trestle close by. And the railroad tracks. Really cool piece of old barbed wire fence. I like finding that kind of stuff. Makes for a good photo shoot. Um, got a little bit of change. I got four pennies and one dime. Another piece of barbed wire fence. A uh, 45 fire bullet, hollow point. And then a nine millimeter shell casing. And then my finds for the day are going to be a lucky horseshoe. Thought that was a cool find. And these two guys right here, I have no clue what they are. I'm going to get them cleaned up, see if I find any markings on them. If I find anything that I can identify these, I'll recap on my, my video here on them. But um, if you guys have a clue, chime in let me know. They look like a pair of boots to me. I don't know. But they were coming up just like a quarter on the, the VDI on that Equinox. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tagging along. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you at the next one.